Hello viewers welcome back to another weekend episode and today's recipe is everyone's favorite sri lankan app or uh, hoppers if you are looking for an instant and easy way to make app learn this instant app with this easy recipe with store bought rice flour and i have shared few tips that will surely help you for making nice looking crispy app in very short time subscribe to nazima's taste of home press the bell icon for latest updates for this recipe we need 3 cups of store bought roasted rice flour 1 cup of all purpose flour i am going to use this cup for measuring i am going to use canned coconut milk this is 400 ml but you can use fresh coconut milk i am going to use 4 cups of thick coconut milk 1 and 1/2 tablespoon sugar 1 egg 1 teaspoon active yeast and 1 teaspoon salt now let's start mixing add 3 cups of roasted rice flour to a large bowl along with 1 cup of all purpose flour 1 egg 1 and 1/2 tablespoon sugar and 1 teaspoon yeast and 1 teaspoon salt give a good mix and then i'm going to add 3 cups of thick coconut milk before i mix everything together now mix it really well make sure the yeast is really active if it is expired it won't give good results and i am finally adding the last cup of the coconut milk so here i have added 4 cups of coconut milk and don't add more than that i am using a hand blender but you can use a regular blender and blend it for 1 minute now the batter is ready now you can see the consistency is just right do not add more or less coconut milk than 4 cups now let's cover this and leave it in a warm place for 1 and 1/2 to 2 hours now you will need a special appa pan to make this hoppers and in sri lanka they are traditionally cooked in a small wok like pan with a lid that gives up a that unique bowl shape i make up in non stick pans because it's so easy appa pan is available in online stores like amazon now after 2 hours my batter is fermented really well it took me like 2 hours and after good fermentation the batter will be frothy bubbly and smell fermented and now you can see the consistency is still just right give a good mix and now start making the hoppers heat the upper pan over medium high until it becomes hot pour a ladle full of the batter into the center of the pan hold both sides of the pan then rotate the pan to spread the batter evenly and thinly swirl only once or twice in the same direction a thin layer of batter should stick to the sides with a thicker layer on the center cover and cook for about 2 minutes over medium heat until the edges of the pancake are starting to brown and the center is no longer runny adjust the heat as needed remove the lid if you want a crisp edge turn up the heat and cook for few seconds more the center of the upper should be puffed and soft just like this if you think your appam edges are not crispy add about half a tablespoon extra sugar to the batter to make it more crispier back home in sri lanka there are few other variations of hoppers that you can make with the same batter they are like egg hoppers pani app kiri app so follow the same process quickly break an egg into the center of the pan and then cover and cook for about 2 minutes until the egg is just set and they just of the upper starting to brown lower the heat after adding the egg 
so the same process for the kiriyappa or palappam add about 2 tablespoons of thick coconut milk i am not adding sugar but if you like you can add sugar too and now it's ready i'm going to serve it with some sri lankan style sini sambal this is for dinner and i'm going to show you how to make jagri appa or hakru appa at the end of this video so the next day morning i'm going to make some jagri appa or hakru appa add some grated jagri or if you have brown sugar you can add it too and then make the hakru appa just as the regular appa and leave it to cook in low to medium heat and it's ready just like this hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and family spread the joy of cooking see you soon with another interesting recipe thanks for watching see you later